Hey everybody, it's Robin Nolan here, jumping on a quick Facebook Live, and in this live video, um, some really cool stuff. You're gonna learn a super who, a super who, a super hit move on Boss of the Rado. This is really awesome. You're gonna love it. And also, I've got some really important news about the Amsterdam Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat. Some important announcements about that. So, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, people are joining. I can see already. People are joining. Welcome, uh, welcome, Malik. And when you join this live, um, type in where you're watching from. And uh, that always keeps me going here. I'm in the kitchen in Amsterdam at home. And um, type in where you're watching from. And there's usually people from all around the world. And it's really cool. People from all sorts of places. And like I say, in this lesson, you're going to learn um, a really super cool move on Bossa Dorado. This is something which... For beginners or advanced players, they're going to love this. Something they can use on this tune, Bossa Dorado, to really give it some class. And also, some really important announcements about the Amsterdam Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat. Okay, so stay tuned. This is going to be a great show. And uh, everybody's joining. Welcome, everybody. My name is Robin Nolan. If you don't know me, by the way, I'm a Gypsy Jazz guitarist and uh, educator. Welcome from Rio de Janeiro. Right on. Joe Schmidt in the house from Rio. That's fantastic. Um, and my mission is to help people, guys and girls from any country in the world, get some gypsy jazz playing into their style and learn it in a fun way. And it's always my mission to take the theory and headache out of this music and teach it in a friendly, bite-sized way. And that's how I'm going to do it today. And so, so what's going to happen? Um, basically, um, Daniela, welcome. Welcome, Tessos. People from Greece, nice shirt. Yeah, ACDC, one of my favorite groups, apart from the Jagger Reinhardt group. And, um, uh, okay, so I'll start with the, with the lesson, all right? So, um, Bossa Dorado, I don't know if you know that tune. It's really popular in Gypsy Jazz. It's the one that goes... bossa kind of feel so it's okay so it's a really I'm not going to teach bossa dorado in this lesson but this is what I'm teaching this really cool move over okay um, I can also teach you bossa dorado so I got stuff on bossa dorado but for now I'm going to teach this really cool move um, and uh, before I do that, let me tell you about Amsterdam. This is really important. Um, there's only three seats left for the retreat, okay? Three slots left for the Amsterdam retreat. So if you're there and you're sitting on the fence and you're thinking about joining us in Amsterdam because um, there's, there's room for 20, right? Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Alex. Uh, welcome, Tony. Uh, there's room for 20. So that means I can give personal attention to everyone at the retreat. And it's happening in Amsterdam, January 24th to 28th. And it's going to be absolutely mind-blowing, inspirational, and life-changing. You'll have the time of, of your life, seriously. And I'm going to be teaching my five breakthrough workshops on how to learn Gypsy Jazz the best way. And I'm going to be inspiring people to go home with some real Gypsy Jazz in the place. It's going to be an amazing event. Plus, you get front row VIP tickets to the Django Amsterdam uh, Festival. So you're going to be hanging out at the Rosenberg Trio concert, my concert, Wawa Adler, all this fun stuff. Plus workshop with Kevin Nolan, the Rhythm Machine, and also Wawa Adler workshop. So it's an amazing package. There's a link in the description to this video. Click that. It's all about Amsterdam. Remember, there's three seats left. Okay, so um, welcome, Tony. Welcome, mate. Welcome, Anamika. And uh, also, uh, right now, there's an early bird price for the uh, Amsterdam retreat. And if you get in before Monday, you'll actually save an additional 500 bucks. So definitely, if you're sitting there and you're thinking about it, now's the time to get off the fence and join us for Amsterdam. It's going to be incredible. Um, so that's the news about Amsterdam. Also, some more news. But um, let me teach you this thing. So Bossa Dorado. Um, these are the chords to Bossa Dorado first. And this is the kind of thing... That I teach to help people craft arrangements, okay? Because uh, actually in workshop number four, we play music together and we split off into groups. And then each each uh, group, this is at the retreat in Amsterdam, 
Each group will pick two songs and they'll make an arrangement with that two songs. And then we do kind of a mini performance. So if someone picked Bossa Dorado, then this is the kind of move that I would help them with. I say, why don't you think about this? And what it is, is that uh, the lead player, right? You've been playing Bossa Dorado. And then after you kind of climax to your solo, then you play this. And it's a quote from Jobim, how insensitive. So... is that the rhythm guy or girl actually plays the same voicings, these voicings which you're going to learn right now. So the usual voicings is D minor, right, bossa dorado, D minor, second chord, E7, right, two bars. Then you've got this turnaround, E minor 7 flat 5, A7, back to D minor, okay? So that's usually how it goes. You can see here, I've written it out. Uh, bossa dorado, D minor, two bars, E7, two bars, then you've got this minor two five one back home to D minor E minor seven flat five A seven back to D minor okay so that's the normal changes and what we do in this move in a super hip move of Bossa Dorado welcome everybody is that you play these voicings instead of the regular right you play this so the first shape we're going to learn now is D minor nine with the A in the bass so these notes hey Leo welcome man okay so minor 9, pinky on the, and that's going to stay there, this is beautiful, this is such a beautiful move, and it goes over bossa dorado, okay, so there's the D minor 9, second chord E7, but we're going to play E with a G sharp in the bass, okay, so it's two bars of each, minor six okay and you still got that E on the top okay and this is what's going to form the how insensitive quote on Bossa Dorado this sounds really awesome so the rhythm guitarist instead of playing this kind of thing they're going to play this solo player will go D7, there's the minor 2-5 back to D minor. When you put the how insensitive uh, idea on it, then you've got that D minor 9. Then instead of E7, you've got E over G sharp. That's that chord. Right, E. And then you've got G minor 6, A7 plus D minor. G minor 6, we're taking that big. Okay, big bar chord on the third fret. Welcome heel, then you've got A7, this is a nice one, A7, and then bar. That's kind of like an A7 augmented, it gets it back to D minor 9. Okay, so they're the voicing, so the rhythm person's going to go... going to do it, the lead. And that's over Bossa Dorado, okay? So you're playing Bossa Dorado, normal, and then you do your solo, and then you go, okay, 
rhythm guy, we're gonna do this. And there you go. Of the road. So usually, you know, whatever, then E7, but this one you go, you keep that melody, da, how insensitive from, um, it's from Jobim, you know, da, and then you've got that kind of idea on Bossa Dorado, it just sounds really cool. So this is the kind of thing I'm going to be teaching in Amsterdam, okay? So, and if you're sitting on the fence, if you're thinking about coming to Amsterdam, and by the way, there's three seats left for the workshop in Amsterdam, okay, for the retreat. If it's traveling, if you don't have a gypsy style guitar, or you don't want to get on the plane with the guitar, check it out. I'm also, I think I can arrange a guitar for you, okay? So if that's stopping you coming to Amsterdam, then um, message me and I'll sort out a guitar for you for while you're in Amsterdam, okay? So I'll sort out a gypsy guitar that you can borrow for the retreat, play it the whole four days, and then you can give it back at the end, okay? Because I don't want that to stop you. So you can travel on the plane without a guitar, okay? So three seats left. Make sure you go to that link in the description of the video and you, all the whole scoop there, you can get your ticket there to the Amsterdam Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. And uh, welcome everybody. I can see Teano Nyman's in, Mike Reiner is in, Mike Reiner. Mike Reiner, beautiful guitarist, incredible guitarist. Uh, welcome, Mike. Bien, bienvenue, Mike. La Chudives. And um, what am I teaching? This really cool idea for Boss Dorado. And this is the way I teach. Small little bite-sized lessons, which you can use straight away. So you're playing a solo on Boss Dorado. Blah, 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 blah. And then you go to do this on Boss Dorado. And it works over the chords. guy also plays those chords instead of plays these chords and it sounds even better in stereo these chords welcome Frank okay so you just got to learn that D minor 9 easy with the with the A in the bass then that's just G minor six. Okay. Okay. Welcome, Kevin. Kev again. Fighting off ants. Are you serious? Where are you in the bush? Fighting off ants. Take care, brother. Um, welcome, everybody. Uh, if you if you're watching this from somewhere, type in where you are. Okay, where you are in the world, and uh, there's people watching from all around the world. I'm Robin Nolan. And two bits of news in this uh, lesson. One is this really cool move you can play on Bossa Dorado. You can put how insensitive on Bossa Dorado and it sounds great. And the other bit is that we've only got three seats left for the Amsterdam Gypsy Jazz Breakthrough Retreat. Three seats and that's it. Okay, so make sure if you're sitting on the fence, you're thinking about coming to Amsterdam, now's the time. Plus there's a $500 saving before Monday, the early bird price is still there on the website. And if you want a guitar, if you can't bring a guitar, you don't want to fly with a guitar, I'll hit you up, okay? I'll, I'll look after you. I'll get you a gypsy guitar for the retreat. So how about that? Don't need to miss out. Um, welcome, Peter. Welcome, Tano. And welcome, Tano. Let's do this. <clears throat> welcome. My name's Robin Nolan. Helping people play this music that we love and helping people play it in their own way as well, okay? So not copying everything, but just bringing out their own musicality, whichever style they're coming from, okay? And uh, so the main lesson right now is the, hello from Macedonia, wow, is the fact that we can do this thing on Bostorado with these chords. And it sounds great in your solo. Another thing I wanna teach in this lesson really, really, really quickly is that I was, um, someone was talking about soloing the other day and so many soloists, have, when they solo, they don't 
take a breath. They don't breathe. So they're kind of and it never stops. It's like if I talk like this and I never take a breath and I keep talking and I'm sitting here in Amsterdam and it just gets like, oh, leave me alone, you know. But if I talk and leave some gaps and silence, then, then what I say is more powerful and more meaningful. And it's the same with playing guitar. So try this. So you're soloing over Bossa Dorado. Try taking a breath, right? Talk, play in, in, in breaths. Welcome, Bernie. Welcome, Lloyd. So you're playing Bossa Dorado. Instead of constantly playing notes, play something like... Take a breath. Breathe. So play phrases, breathe, play a phrase, breathe. And your solos will be way more, way nicer, okay? Instead of playing all the time, if you breathe, it's going to make the music much more attractive, much more meaningful, okay? And try and make things beautiful. So if I was playing over Bossa Dorado, breathe, breathe. Know what I mean so it's hard to talk and do all this at the same time but the message is breathe in your solos that's just a quick little tip there um, I've almost got time to uh, just say hi again and then I'm gonna jump off and if you're interested in Amsterdam joining us there's three seats left okay um, type Amsterdam in the chat uh, into the chat thing on this feed or message me and I can fill you in on more details and if you want a guitar for the retreat then I got one for you okay and uh, that's it. So make sure you uh, click the link in the description of the video and uh, come to Amsterdam. It's going to be absolutely incredible, uh, life changing. And uh, let me just recap what we did in this lesson. Um, yeah, what we did in this lesson. Thanks, Lloyd. What we did in this lesson was we looked at a really cool idea you can use on Bossa Dorado. And usually Bossa Dorado, you've got those chords, D minor. Da -be -da -do 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 -de -da E7 and then you've got sorry I'm doing it the wrong way around here uh, but if you do these uh, D minor 9 E with G sharp G minor 6 A7 then you get this nice uh, on Bossa Dorado I can play and the lead guy can go yeah whatever so it's just a really nice super hip idea on Bossa Dorado that's what we learn and also when you're playing solos breathe try to play a beautiful phrase sit back and then play another phrase. It's a good good exercise to do, um, just to kind of stop yourself playing all the time. And then what you do play is more meaningful. So that's a really good tip. And also three seats left in Amsterdam. Click that link. Any questions about that, just message me or type Amsterdam in the chat in this uh, video and I'll get back in and I'll answer your question, okay? So thanks for watching. This has been super quick. <clears throat> uh, Robin Nolan in Amsterdam. Um, my mission to help you get some gypsy jazz in your plan and make it fun, okay? And that's what Amsterdam's gonna be all about. So, thanks for watching, thanks Matteo, thanks Lloyd, everybody uh, from all around the world. I'm gonna say adios from the kitchen in, in Amsterdam and lots of love and stay inspired like always. Yeah, I'm coming to Finland.